here in a crop of canola that has been recently windrowed and harvested to see the residual Rutherglen buck that is still here in the paddock in large numbers. You can see just in this row there are a number of plants that have clusters of Rutherglen bug around the base. A week ago these were largely juveniles but now also made up of quite large numbers of adults. You can see them here moving as I disturb them on the uh, on the stems. If you move aside some of this trash that's on the surface, whilst there's canola seed here on the ground, there are not necessarily large numbers of Rutherglen bug clustered on that fallen seed, which leads me to think that perhaps these rather glen bug are here surviving on what moisture and nutrition is left in the stems rather than on the fallen seed. So one of the questions is what actually happens to these rather glen bug? Um, will they simply molt to adult and get up and fly away? And I think the answer to that question is we don't know. Recent experience in areas where canola crops are followed by summer crops is that these nymphs in particular can leave the canola in very large numbers and simply walk into neighbouring fields where they cause damage around the margins of the paddocks uh, to the seedlings, things like cotton or soybeans for example. Rather glen bug were not a feature of the the pest spectrum when the crop was standing. It seems that these Rutherglen bug have probably been in the crop late, laid their eggs possibly in the soil and then emerged to feed on, um, feed on the plants and go through and develop.